In this movie, I'm going to show you the basic level of integration between E3 series and CATIA and how you go about establishing the correct cable length. More advanced capability is also available. Here we have an E3 cable project, which is part of a rolling stock vehicle design. Let's take a look at sheet one with the connections between the box and the bogey and the measuring equipment. You can also see sheet two showing a simple connection between the two D sub connectors. If you zoom into the schematic, you can see these connectors, the connections between them and the area of the box. There's the terminal strips on the inside of the box and the connectors on the outside. I'm opening the device properties of the four pin Deutsch mail connector to show the component tab now. This contains important information provided by the vendor of the component. The component data sheet is stored in the E3 series library database. On to showing you the component table of the Harting modular connector, where you can not only find the data sheet, but also component views and a real 3D model. These details are stored inside the E3 series intelligent library database. With the brief introduction over, let's take a look at the lengths. Here I'm showing the locations where the length will be shown after it's been determined by CATIA. At this time, the attribute text template still shows a zero value, as we don't yet have the data from the MCAD system. In summary, E3 has the whole story except for the length. Now we'll go to the mechanical tool, CATIA, via the 3D routing bridge to complete the picture. The 3D routing bridge, part of the E3 series environment, allows you to export data from E3 series to mechanical CAD, in this case, CATIA. Now we're in the CATIA environment with a 3D model of the bogey of the railway vehicle design. You can see that some devices have already been placed, along with some of their connections. Let's take a look at the model tree with the already designated parts. Here are the terminals of the existing terminal strip JB X100, 200, 300, etc. On this same model tree, I'm going to show you the designated single wires placed between terminals of the terminal strip, JBX100, and a connector. Here you can see how it's possible to assign a single cable, W1 here, with its nine cores. Now let's bring in the data from E3 series using the E3 3D routing bridge. Select the icon, which opens the GUI, and choose the file, the one I saved a minute ago. In this action, the old file is deactivated and the updated file is imported. For the import to CATIA, the XML extension format is used, which contains the whole range of data such as component codes for connectors and wires, cables, cross-sections, diameters, and bend radii, etc. After the import of the updated XML file from the E3 3D routing bridge, you can see the devices already placed and those which are not yet present in the 3D model, as shown in the device list here. The next step is to link the exact devices in the CATIA model. When there is more than one of the same component type existing in the 3D model design, you should point to which device is connected to which model, like this. This action is needed to show the actual connections which were created in E3 series. When every model is assigned in a CATIA design, you can start to import wires and cables. Cables and wires should be handled using the electrical wire routing module inside CATIA. I'm now going to show you the list of the wires and cables imported from E3 series via the 3D routing bridge that are now available in CATIA. Some of these are already connected, but the rest are new. As you can see, you can always update the schematics and 3D model. If you wish to show only the wires and cable cores that have not yet been routed, you can use the option shown on the screen and then make the connections. Cable W2 is a good example of this. Each core can be seen by pointing at it. It is worth highlighting at this point that you don't have to have any knowledge of the electrical design in E3 series to do this task. Thanks to the imported information, the exact models which are connected are highlighted. The path called Geometric Bundle in CATIA is created. For the new connection, you can view point by point, cable tie by cable tie, or the whole path of the bundle. 
This can be shown once for the first connection. For another connection, you can use the previous path. After the path has been created, you can choose the bundle separation point. This is the point where the cores of the cable or separate wires are to be divided from the harness. The connection is shown from the bundle separation point to the actual pins of the terminal in the terminal strip. When the geometric bundle between the devices is created, you can add actual cables and wires to the paths. Thanks to the information imported from E3 series, the XML file contains the information about the connections, so you don't need to show which pin of the device is connected to another one. Cable cords and wires are automatically designated to the right connection lines. At the end, you'll be able to see the box showing everything was routed successfully. The routing is now done. You can see the devices with specific device designation being highlighted. Every wire or cable core can now be shown on the 3D model. This guarantees the real accurate lengths for the cores and wires, completing the information required for the electrical schematic in your E3 series project. It is simply a matter of exporting this information into E3 series as a final part of the process. The information about length is saved in the XML file, the same file that was imported at the beginning of the routing in CATIA. This can now be imported back to E3 series via the E3 3D routing bridge. The power of the E3 3D routing bridge is much greater if you are working with E3 form board alongside E3 cable, as you can obtain the entire harness structure from CATIA and other MCAD systems. Finally, thank you for watching and listening to this movie. Why not check out other movies on Zookin.com or YouTube? Mm -hmm.